Oh, let's dig. Hey up there guys, Ben here, 180 Felix So Hunter. Thank you for tuning into my channel. We're on a club dig guys. I'm out of breath, but I've been here about four hours, digging loads of holes. I decided to sit down and have a coffee. So I thought I'd introduce a video. Hello. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my drink. And while I'm doing that, you can watch everything I've found so far up until this point. So I'll catch you in a minute looking at what I've found. Oh, oh. We've got Mr. Suffolk Sifter over there. <laughs> He's got a new toy. But I think you should hop over to his channel and you'll find out all about it. <laughs> While he's prattling about trying to find some rusty stuff, I've got a coin over here. <laughs> First target out. Uh, well, I say it's a coin, looks like a button. Ah, oh, it is, it's a button. False alarm, it's a button, Steve, button. <laughs> a button of nothing. Anyway, machine's working well, set up, got the 5x8 coil on, I've got it in all metal mode, and I've got two notches off the top and sensitivity, change my frequency, I've got it on one at the moment, but if I get any interference from anyone else, I shall change that, but at the moment, it's going well. First target in is a button, let's carry on, what, what? And what's, uh, let's, let's keep the camera on and what's Steve found? Oh, don't do that, that's rubbish, <laughs> I'm not going to put it on camera. Uh, next target guys. Uh, I've left uh, I've left Suffolk Sifter alone now. He's he's gone off. He's fed up with me finding things. <laughs> uh, we got what looks like a. It was probably part of a button at one point. Not too sure. Uh, we'll investigate it later. I've got a 77 in here, but it's a bit dodgy. It wasn't 77 when it. For, oh, is that a coin? It is a coin, guys. Well, I say it's coin. It might be a button. Nice, I've only been here five minutes and the targets are popping up, so that's a good sign. And it is, I'm in with my second button. Uh, broken loop on the back. Another button of nothing though. Nice though, roundness in the hole, let's plonk it in the bag and carry on. Nice 50, 51, 52. Let's see if we can reveal, a, reveal something on camera. What we got? Ah. A bit of bendy, oh, it snapped. Yep, a bit of junk. Mm, never mind. All right, got another 55 in here. And it's out. Let's have a look what that is in. All right, it's so just another bit of, another bit of the same sort of stuff I just found a minute ago, a bit of junky stuff. Oh well, having fun. I've only been here about 10, 15 minutes and the targets are, are looking pretty good, so we're on the right path. Whoop, whoop. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like it, Oh, Oh, guys, what is that? I thought it was just gonna be a, a, a boring bit of linkage off a chain. It's quite smooth that side, but you flip it round, some knobbly bits there, and it looks like there might be some sort of design going around there. Well, not a design per se, but it's not plain. Let's put it that way. Hmm. We'll investigate that later. Not sure. Could be something. Could be junk. We'll plunk it in the bag, though, and we'll carry on. And I just thought I'd show you quickly, guys. You've got all the power lines up there, running all the way along this field. Um, and I'm swinging this, as you can see. I don't know if you can see actually, but it's full sensitivity there guys. Every single notch on. I turn it on. My iron's up to 35. But I'll only turn it on as and when I need it. So, listen to that. Can you hear anything? 
tell you what, I'll just take the headphones off. There we go. Quiet as anything. Okay, there's a target there. But look at that. Look how quiet and silent this is. Full sensitivity. You can't argue with that. Bunch of the lads from Extreme Metal Detecting UK over there. Oh, we got a waiver. We got a waiver. <laughs> That's for Andy from Extreme. And Suffolk Sisters on top of the hill scratching his head with the new Garrett Ace Apex. Uh, yeah. I might go and uh, have a look at that in a little while. Right, let's carry on. Enough time wasting. There's things to be found there. I don't need the pinpointer for this one. It's just in there. And there's roundness to it on the edges there. So I reckon that... Oh, well there you go. I was going to say, I reckon that was might have been a coin, but there's your answer. It was a button at one point. Uh, the loop's gone and there's not much left of it at all. And I've just broke that. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. It was a broken button. Now it's a broken, broken button. Oh well, let's put it in a bag and carry on. Just had a trashy target in there, but I'm just looking up at some of the extreme lads over there. Uh, they're halfway to Australia at the moment. They've been digging a while. <laughs> it's taken two of them. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that's something good. In fact, I'm going to go and investigate. Just to see what you're going to pull out now, look. <laughs> Must be coming in as a nice signal then, is it? Well, that was a bit of a dodgy one to start off with, but it's sort of cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. And now it's got higher. I've dug smaller trenches in the army. <laughs> Hello, mate. What have you got then? Oh, it's G.I. Joe, look. Mate. It's G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <What's> <laughs> <Huh? laughs> Oh I've got another target here, I've left them to it. They're all still digging away over there. <laughs> There's lots of glass coming out, so maybe maybe a bottle dump round here, I'm not too sure, but loads of broken bits of glass coming out. Not too sure what the uh, the metal is at the moment, but I just, oh, I had a target. Where'd I put it? I got it out as well. Oh no, where did I just put that? Uh, ah, there it is. It's um. It's a flat musket ball, so it could be a fired musket ball. I like these musket balls, tell a story, don't they? But this one's a flat bottomed one, so it could have also been used as a gaming piece. I've been doing a bit of research, and yeah, they used to use these as gaming pieces too, so happy days. Let's, uh, let's carry on. All right, another target. It's just there, look. Let's have a look at it together. Is it a coin? Oh, I think it might be a button, guys. That's one side. Is there a, a pattern that we can get off this livery button? Oh, no, there isn't, guys. Uh, that's the back. You see the loop is squashed there, which means the design side... Oh, I was going to say it has gone, but maybe it was supposed to be like this. I can just see, if I get my nail in there, give it a little curl around, you can just see a shiny bit of uh, gold gilding on that middle bit there. So it would have once upon a time been a gold gilded button. Nice, let's plonk it in the bag and carry on. It's a 77 on the AT Max, this one guys. It's um, what I'm going to call a bit of shrapnel. Oh, it could have, been a, could have been anything, it's broken off, something going round. I can't tell if that's screw lines or pattern. I should imagine screw, probably. Too modern for my liking. Let's carry on. I can see roundness just here, guys. Just pinpointed it. It's a bit of a dodgy 42, so... Not sure what this is going to be. 
Oh guys, it's another button. It's definitely a button day. And it's still got the loop on, although it's squashed. And once again, button of nothing. Can't get anything off that. Might be able to do it at some point, but yeah, it's another button to add to the collection. Just under the surface, this one. Oh, it's, um, it's an old nail, guys. Not great. Uh, as you can see here, guys, another target is, uh, it was a bit of an iffy 60, and it looks like uh, it's just lead, but what it was, I can't tell. I'm trying to get a little bit of something off there, but it's not giving up anything. Eh, let's look at it later. A nice bit of lead, though. That's a good button. Yeah. What was in that um, glass pit? Nothing. They gave up, did they? Yeah. Strange. I reckon that was lead. Lead around the um, broken, you know, bottles. Oh, I would have to find these, wouldn't I, next to bloody Neil? <laughs> Big old end shotgun cartridge. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Hang on, that's not shotgun. Is it? Looks like one. Yeah, that is, isn't it? Well, could be a big old um, 50 cal. Yeah, I think it might be a big 50 cal, mate. Shotties normally plastic here, aren't they? And the earlier ones were a little bit different at the top. Had like a little stick coming out of them. So I'm going to say that's a big old 50 calibre broken shell. Oh, I find enough of these on the beach. I do not want to be finding them on the land. Yeah. Right, let's carry on. By hook or by crook, it's uh, something. Ow. All right, a scratchy 50 has yeah, come out. out Sorry? Oh, where'd you go last week? Henley. Ah, uh, Henley, oh. On a field that we've done about 20 times. Bit of junk. All right, I just thought I'd try this little bit of pasture here. Nice little bit of pasture next to the plough field here. It's a lot tougher to get through though. But we just pulled up a coin, as you can see. So I'm glad I came on here now. First coin of the day. There's a nice 60 odd that was ringing in at. I can just make out a battered Britannia on that side. And I can't quite get it yet. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a Vic Vicky. That's a young Vicky as well. So the date will be there somewhere. We'll try and get that later. I'm gonna sit down and have a coffee soon anyway. I might give it a little spray, but um, a young head, a bun head, Vicky, half penny. Nice one. Better than a button. Let's carry on. Whoop, whoop. Uh, oh, I'd say coin, possibly. I'd say coin. I will go with coin then. Not a lot of detail on it though, is there? No, you can get something off it there. I'd say a half penny, mate, at some description. Yeah, I was hoping it was hammered coming out there then. It's not hammered, unfortunately. Yeah. Definitely looks too milled for that. Oh. oh dear, I thought I was in with something here, but all I've got is a rusty chain link. And I'm going to go for this hammered right here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that one here. It's a, a Jurex packet. Don't think, I don't think I'll dig that. <laughs> Just put the turf back over that one, I think. <laughs> it's been used, I think, Neil, been used. <laughs> uh, as you can see, guys, still on the pasture and we have ourselves another bullet casing. Not great. Let's carry on. In fact, I'm going to stop and have a drink. Ah, welcome back, guys. So as you can see, not a lot found. And I'm on this little bit of pasture, as you've just seen. Um, so I've just managed to pull up a half penny on here. A few other little bits of tit and tat. 
um, but nothing great guys so i just stopped for me uh something to eat yeah i do like my food oh no we got meat and potato pie we got no it's a chicken bake that is Bourneville chocolate, Dime Bar, Terry's chocolate orange, some Doritos, water in there, coffee here. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy myself. And then I'll get the energy back and we'll go out and see what more goodies we can find from the field. So stay with me folks and hopefully, fingers crossed, there's something else coming up in this video. Either way, it's better than the beach because the beach has been absolutely dreadful lately. It's been awful. Right, that's enough of me jibber jabbering. I'm going to eat this, drink this. And crack on. See you on the next one. Whoopity woo woo. I've just turned the camera on, guys. I've just got all my gear back on, and this is exactly where I was sat <laughs> just now to have my little break. And there's a 77, I think it was. In here. Oh, is that actually it? Oh, that is it. I thought that was a stone. I just turned the clod over. Uh, a nice chunky bit of lead with either that's damage or that's pattern. Hmm. Oh, ah, oh, well, I was sat on that, whatever it is. Uh, we'll investigate that. Nice one. Let's put it in the bag. Carry on. Oh, hello, Mr. Wormy. Um, where's my target gone? It's looked good, but now it doesn't. It's a nice little signal, that. But as you can see, it's just a, a couple of rivets through some type of material leather maybe yeah yes two rivets through what looks to me like a piece of leather hmm what could that have been off guys plonk it in the comments if you know please much appreciate it uh, it was a couple of inches under so not too bad because it's quite hard this pasture to dig through but let's carry on it's a little bit different isn't it yeah, just turn the clod over on this one. You can probably see what that is. Oh, it's another bullet casing. Come on, Ben, I'm not on the beach. What's going on? Yeah, we just found Mickey Mouse. Here he is, look. Hello, Mickey. <laughs> it's a padlock, guys. Maybe I'll find the key for it now. I'm going to quick walk off this pasture now. Because I think a lot of this might be might be trash. That looks like it. What have we got? Feels like a button. Looks like a button. And I'm going to confirm that that is in fact a button. It's got a pin bit on the back. <sighs> Loop snapped off. Again though, a button of nothing. <sighs> Just still that one half penny. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep his fingers crossed and carry on. Here's another button. Mm, might be a little bit of something on there, but again, it's just a button. All right, guys. Oh, a nice solid tone for once. All right, let's, uh, let's attempt this one live on camera, shall we? See if we can get this one right. All right, are we out? Aha, we're out this time. And I think we've got one in the clod. Oh yes, look. There it is. Oh, I like doing these ones. It's the big reveal. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Oh, look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Is it a coin? It is a coin. Yay, we're in the money. Um, yeah. But I think it's a coin or nothing. Probably a George or something. One of the Georges. I'll just give it a quick wipe. Because right this second I can't tell. But I'm going to say it's a, a half penny of someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's put it in the bag. We'll investigate it at the end. Let's carry on. We're on the coins. Woohoo! Just pulled up this, guys. Once again, it's another button, and a button of nothing. Dow. Let's carry on. No idea. Nope. 
Not what I'm after. Oh look, there's G.I. Joe. What's he found, I wonder? Oh, I've stopped for a break again, guys. Very, 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 very quiet field. There's a couple of hammers come up. I've not seen them myself yet, but yeah, there's two hammers come up, apparently. A full cradle bell, I heard as well, but not that much overly. It's about half past two in the afternoon, so a couple of hours left. Um, been a quiet day, but hey, it's Sunday. We're outside, the weather's kind, we're metal detecting. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else but here. Love it. Alright, we've got a very, very wispy 40 odd in here. Oh, that's a, that's why it was a little bit wispy. It's a very, very small uh, little pinhead. Um, still got the tiny, tiny pin on there, if you can see it. Just make that out tiny little pin and in the background praying to the gods is a Suffolk sifter Steve playing about with his brand new Garrett Ace Apex I shall be having a look at that in a minute see how it's been getting on you look around and you think oh I wish I could go on that field oh I wish I could go on that field oh that field over there looks good but then if I was standing over there looking at this field, I'd be like, oh, oh, that looks like a nice field. But yeah, very quiet. Very, very quiet. But you never know. Something might pop up before the end. Oh, like this. Oh, a nice screaming 52. Let's check this out then. Let's give this a go. Keep the camera rolling for this one. Come on. This will be good to get this live. Please be good. Let's have something good. Oh, we're in the clod. We're in the clod, I like these ones. Oh no, I can see what it is. It's a mini little shot. Ah, damn it. Ah, well, the fort was there, guys. I was going to share a moment of gorgeousness with you, but instead, we're looking at a little shot. Don't! Not every day you see a couple of people flying in the sky without the use of an aeroplane. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Right, another target out. And it is a nail head. Yeah, I was reading in it a nice 50 something or other that was. Ah well, let's plonk it in the bag. Oh, we have a Mr. Sifter there. Hello, mate. <laughs> How you getting on? Yeah, been good. You've got silver. Oh, lovely. I've got to come and have a look. Silver. Apex on the silver, look, there you go. But all that it's broken, about. unfortunately. Well, then let's go in bit, the hand. That, that one's a bit fragile, that bit. Nice. Then eight inches of wire, found Broken here, silver thimble. Ah, oh, and he's found another little bit. The Viper coil, look, Steve. Nice. Apex on the silver. All right, Steve's kind of let me have a go on. Garrett, I call it Apex. 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 Ace I keep Apex. saying Apex all the time. So if you dig there, Steve, and then I'll see what it is. Look, I've got my own digger. Brought Steve along with me today. <laughs> oh, look. It's in there, look. Let's have a look. Let's see what I've found. There's your headphones, mate, if you grab all of them. See what I've found, look. First target with the uh, Apex, look. I think we're in with a bit of lead there, Steve. <laughs> Say 60, 61. Nice clear tones there, guys. Sorry, that was, was that in your ears? No, no, <laughs> His no, wall no, stuff no, with the headphones. What I will say though, Steve, is you've got the headphones on and they're connected. Yeah, and they're still connected. I had heard that there was a problem. And that's why I'm walking away from you and they're still connected, yeah? 
give you a bit of something to pick up. Yeah, there's a big bit of lead, look. Chuck that then. Here we go, here's a good test. And you're still connected, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, he got that all the way over there, look guys. So there isn't an issue with the uh, headphones disconnecting. Well, that one anyway. <laughs> Not with this one. Yes. As you can hear that in the distance. Still getting it? Yeah, we've got quite a lot of distance here. Still getting it. Uh, I don't think there's an issue with the uh, headphones disconnecting here. It's a very, very simple test. Stopped. Oh, there we go. You can hear it. So that's quite a distance. Don't really need to say any more on that. I think that test is complete. <laughs> so if you want to know more about the Garrett Ace Apex and how Steve Sifter got on, then go and check his channel out. Put a link in the description. Nice. Something in my hand. It's a coin. Finally. Oh, is it a button? Oh, guys, it's not a coin. It's a button. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. There's a loop still on there. Once again, I think that's a button of nothing. Let's plonk it in the bag. Keep going. Right. That's got to be something good this time. There's a 60 something. Oh, I can't remember. I better be saying the numbers now. Oh, I see it. I see it very tiny target that I whipped out there and that's why I was getting a, a nice signal and then it turned out a bit trashy it's just a pellet from an air rifle Dough. come on then there you go lovely hammer's come up look I'm gonna flip it over do you know what it is? they told me what it was but you forgot yeah. <laughs> I'll look I'm, no, I'll, I'll I'm look, no good at idea neither I'll look up in the booking away Henry something or other, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely old top. I'll put a clean up tonight. Yeah, nice. Uh, I've just pulled up a buckle as well. Broken one. Slim pickings today. I just had a 45 out of the hole. It was a 55 in the hole. So it's changed since I've knocked it out. Let's see what it is. Probably a little bit of lead I reckon or whatever this is what have we got hmm there is a pattern on there let's give this a little wipe I can see a tree or something on there and some wording it looks like it was a little cap that would have a little stopper cap off something hmm not sure interesting that give that a clean at home see what that pattern is might be able to get to the bottom of what it once was nice let's carry on no it's a rolled up bit of aluminium by the looks of it guys that's not good oh. I was walking with Neil just then, uh, but he's carried on and I've stopped because I got a target and it's in this little piece of mud. Let's wipe it off and see if we have a coin or a button and I do suspect it's probably a button and it is a bloody button. I'm fed up with buttons. Um, yeah, even the loop's broken. An old button, once again, with nothing on it. No. Oh. Right, next target. Just knocked it out. I think it's another button, guys. Oh, it is. It is. It's another button. Uh, oh, 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 that's got something on it, guys. I can see a bit of gold gilding on there and a star. So that'll clean up quite nice, I reckon. And the loop is intact. Finally, a whole button with something on it. Nice. Well, this is definitely button field, isn't it? It's another button, guys. A broken one. But it's not the first broken button, and it's probably not going to be the last. Let's keep going. Bloody hell. Broken bullet casing. Down. Aha. Ow. Bit of lead, guys. 
bit of lead. Nothing on it. Let's keep going. Well, I just pulled this up, guys. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's folded in half uh, with a hole in the middle. Would have had a hole in the middle if it was opened up. But yeah, I don't know. No idea, guys. Let's plonk it in the bag anyway and carry on. Right, I can just see it poking out there, guys. It was an, an iffy one. Um, I almost did dig it. And then the numbers changed and bounced around and I kept persevering. And I did all that for a button. Oh, bugger it hell. I thought it was a coin then. Ah, it's all right. Put it in the collection. And there's probably a pattern on there. Well, I can see a B in the middle. That might clean up nice, but the loop's broken. Uh, let's carry on. Button number 3000. All right, I had a wispy one, guys. Wispy, uh... Let's put, it in the, let's put it back down. It's in the clod, guys. Oh, it's not wispy anymore. 61, 62. And it's, uh, it was a bit of an iffy signal when it was in the, down in the ground, but you can see it there, protruding from the edge. Oh, you're supposed to see this break now, but I'm not succeeding in that right now. <laughs> it's not successful. Oh. Are we a coin? Um, I think, I think we're another button, guys. Let's knock it out. There we go. Yeah, another button. A button of nothing once again. The loop's broken off. But I've had so many buttons today. Solid 55 in here, guys. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a square washer this time. No, oh, not good. All right, I've got to be quick because the camera's dead, really. It's going to go off in a minute. Uh, but I just found that. I thought it was scrappy lead, but it's not. Look at that. If you look at that closely, is that just me or is that a pair of legs missing a head? There's the torso and the hand carrying a bucket or something and the legs that's quite nice ah well that little figure is uh, has turned out to be the last target guys we've um, we've all just been summoned we've got to go uh, time has run out so put this uh put this hole back together and we'll have to have a look at that little find later so what i'll do is i'll um i'll put a little slideshow up now of all the stuff that's been found today by me and everyone else until the next time, if you go out swinging, stay safe, good luck, and happy hunting all. Whoop whoop!